Today we're going to install the Nevermore air filter in our new Trident. You'll need to print a few parts, so you can find the links in the description. Because we are building the Nevermore for a Trident, we're using the cartridge design for it. If you're building a 2.4 or you want to mount it in the bottom of your Trident, you can use this cartridge here instead. The other parts we'll be using include two 5015 blower fans, six heat set insert, the Nevermore Bridge PCB from LDO, some round magnets, and the screws and T-nuts. You can find all of this stuff in your LDO kits. For tools, we're going to need our soldering iron, some snippers, a small screwdriver, tweezers, and our wire strippers. The first step is to modify these blower fans. Separate the fan by pressing the tabs holding the enclosure together. Now with the fan open, use the snippers to remove this bit of plastic here from the fans. You maybe want to wear some eye protection for this part. Snap the cover back on and we'll press the heat set inserts into the holes on the fans. While the soldering iron's hot, let's press the insert into the plenum and cartridge as well. Oh, don't forget to remove this little piece here. It's just a support for the heat set hole. That's it for preparation. Let's build the Nevermore. We're going to reuse the wire in JST from one of these fans later, so make sure you only cut the one end off for now. Insert this fan into the right side of the plenum, and then route these wires underneath with some tweezers. Make sure the wire's completely straight with no twists and lay it flat in the bottom of that cable run. Keep pulling the wire until the fan lays completely flat, and then we can trim this wire here. Before we can install the second fan, we're going to get a rough idea on the length of wire we need, and then cut the JST off, leaving ourselves lots of wire here. Now we can install our second fan the same way, except the wire for it has to come through the little hole here first, and then is fed down into the cable stay. And then all you have to do is pull the wires along until the fan sits flat. Before we can solder to the PCB, it's easiest to attach the fans first. These M316s through the back secure the fans to the plenum. Now we solder everything to our little PCB. All this PCB is doing is straight junctioning of all the soldered wires. So we'll solder the fan wires and then feed through our spare piece and solder it to the board as well. It's always a good idea to check for shorts. Next is the magnets. We use a bit of epoxy on ours to make sure they aren't going to come out. The plenum lid slides into the grooves on the side. For the cartridge, all we have to do is press in the magnets. A trick for this is to use the plenum piece to hold the magnets in the right orientation and then press them into the cartridge. Thirty grams of carbon pellets into the cartridge and we secure the lid using an M36. That's the Nevermore assembled. Time to install it in the Trident. Some people put the cartridge down in the bottom, but we prefer to be closer to the heat source and we'll be mounting it directly under the bed. We ran the wiring to our octopus through the Z-chain and then configured clipper to use the correct pin for exhaust. 
Just like that, our Trident has great filtration and circulation. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.